The place that we are, that is, if we are in a beautiful place, it affects the way we think. It affects the way we talk with one another. It affects the way we, we dream when we speculate about one or another idea. We're engaged right now in a very important uh, construction project. Uh, we're building a sky room. And that sky room, I think, can host a number of community events as well as exhibits that will be very exciting in our future. We're Northern Nevada's public square. And now, Reno's most distinctive building is about to become even more distinctive. It's not just going to be the culmination of the horizon that greets you at the top, but another kind of room that will contain a whole other level of cultural and personal experiences with your friends, your colleagues, your families, and people that come to sort of interact in this environment in this place called the Sky Room. I am really excited about the Sky Room because uh, it is a project that's going to enhance a, a, a thing that's already beautiful, this museum. This beautiful glass box where you can just look out over our beautiful city and it has a nod to the past on top of this beautiful contemporary building. We're going to bring back a new version of the beloved and elegant Sky Room that once topped the historic Mapes Hotel in downtown Reno. The entire fourth level will be renamed the Fred W. Smith Penthouse in honor of the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Donald W. Reynolds Foundation. The penthouse will include a 4,800 square foot Nightingale Sky Room and will feature a state-of-the-art banquet kitchen and retractable floor-to-ceiling glass walls, allowing for the creation of an open-air environment. The outdoor Stacy Matthewson Sky Plaza will complement the Sky Room with nearly 5,000 square feet of exterior patio space. Because the museum is a kind of storehouse of beauty, the idea arose to construct a space on the top of the museum which was itself beautiful. That is, a space in which people could come and feel that sense of wholeness and energy that you have when you're in connection with something which is beautiful. We have created a space which is really going to be unique in this community that is a place of sensual sophistication that you can dine in a fine dining situation. You can share events, you can have a string quartet, you can have lectures and symposiums, and you can see the seasons of this place change from this platform, this crow's nest across the community. And that's gonna be a lot of fun, I think. We're going to look to that sky room. It will host some events that uh, I think will be extraordinary. And we want to open that to our entire community. The sky room is really phase three of our mission, I believe. It creates a space big enough uh, to bring all kinds of ideas together, to decide exactly what we want our future to be. Be a place to encounter the, the best and most brilliant new work in the contemporary community of the arts. And it's gonna be at a scale that sort of opens to the horizon of possibilities. It's gonna be a fun place to discover ideas, to really enjoy the collegiality of a, a fine meal, and again, to share in the energy of a place. The, the museum is more than just a museum. It's a place where we can all come together and, um, and talk about what's important. Some say the sky's the limit, but here at the Nevada Museum of Art, it's just the beginning. Welcome to the sky. <laughs>